Uh, welcome. Today we're doing a video on the treatment of knee pain. A uh, client here has um, had an arthroscopy a few months ago in February. It's now uh, June. Still has a lot of swelling. No pain associated with it. A lot of swelling, especially swelling at the end of the day. I'm going to have a look. She complains of getting a, a, a solid mass underneath the thigh here at the end of the day. And we can feel the width of it there versus here. You don't feel it there at all. So there is some palpable mass underneath there. We can see the scars from the arthroscopy. Complains of some stiffness under here, but like you said, no pain at all. Most of the problems up here is above the knee, which is surprising because the surgery was done here below the knee. You expect the problems around here. You still see some swelling here coming across, some swelling there and around here. So we'll need to do that whole knee area. So the first thing we're going to do is when you want to treat your knee, we can go to the anatomical opposite. So the right knee becomes the left elbow. So we have a look where the swelling is. The main channel that runs through there is the stomach channel and the spleen channel. So on the arm, the stomach channel becomes the large intestine and the spleen channel becomes a lung. So we're going to put some needles, obviously in our left elbow, down here. Down there and down there and just get her to move her leg around and see what kind of difference that makes. So we'll do that now. Yeah, just leave your arm in a natural position. So the elbow joint itself is the knee. So this is um, <clears throat> large intestine points. And so these needles here would cover the knee, would cover the knee. So if this is the elbow crease here. And probably gone from there down to about there. So we've got a good image of the knee on the elbow. So how are these needles? Do they hurt? One did. One did. Is it alright now? No, it's still hurting. Which one is it? Point to it with your right hand. I think it's that one there? Uh, no. Yeah, that one there. Okay, I'll just adjust that for you. How's that now? Better? Yep. Great. Okie dokie. See if you can straighten your knee. So if you can, just kind of like, see if you flex your knee. Yeah, great, perfect, perfect. Do a, do a couple of those. Um, yeah. Point the toes when you go forward. Yeah, excellent. When okay. you come back, pull back. Yeah, perfect. This is the chi moving technique that we do. Put the needles in the anatomical opposite part of the body and get the patient to move the affected area. It allows for things to flow and move and it's an effective therapy. Okay. So, try it now. See, see how it feels. Still feels a bit stiff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, under here. Under here? I don't know. How's this area here? Ooh, Tight. Like, I can feel that lump there now. Definitely, definitely that lump under there. Alright. We're going to need to do... We're going to get rid of that lump. <coughs> So for this, the margins of the, uh, the lump under the knee becomes very distinct when you had a leg tensed. So, uh, good little therapy. You know, poke a hole in it and suck some blood out of it. Sounds a lot more ghastly than what it is. 
You don't have to prick all the way down to the bottom of the thigh. Superficial prick is usually enough. A bit of centre there. So we'll just let some blood come out of that and that will help dissipate that lump. Stomach 35, the knee eyes, very common for the treatment of knee pain. As you can see, not a lot of blood actually comes out. But the advantage of this particular therapy is, um, as you can see, the blood itself is quite dark. Old blood comes out, allows new blood to come to the area. New blood brings healing. There you go, pretty simple. So they actually did a, uh, a study, I think it was uh, over in England, about the difference between uh, having an arthroscopy or a sham arthroscopy and the sham arthroscopy what they did is they made the incision in the knee and then sewed it back up and then they made the incision in the knee and actually did the um, the arthroscopy itself and they found that there was no significant difference in the results between the people who had the sham arthroscopy and the real arthroscopy but what they didn't realize is that the bloodletting on that part of the knee there is actually a treatment. So in Chinese medicine, we can do an arthroscopy on the knee with this therapy, and you poke a hole here and poke a hole here, put the suction cup over it and suck the blood out. And that is the equivalent to the sham arthroscopy that, um, that they talked about in the study. So arthroscopy does help. It's just that they're sham, they didn't realize it was actually a treatment. So. There you go. So what I'm also going to do, I'll put one in here. Yeah. Ooh. I can feel there's definitely a bit gritty in there. And that one this there one here. was, yeah. It's still a bit sore? No, just that one you just did. Oh, that, that one there is sore? Yeah, all right. it's alright. Alright, give it a sec. That's cool. Uh, you, can, you can get some uh, painful sensations in an area where it's still damaged. It must be when I put that in, it felt, it kind of felt a little bit like sticking it through sand. You can feel the grain, grainy texture through there, which is definitely not supposed to be like that. So uh, you'll get that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a tensing, tens machine on here. We're just going to pulse that area, get that blood moving around. That shouldn't cause you any discomfort. That should be, that should feel quite nice. You got a rubber mallet? A rubber mallet. We may, we may have a rubber mallet. Not for me. <laughs> What do you propose to do with this rubber mallet? If you hurt me, I'll hit you. I have absolutely no intention of hurting you at all. Quite the opposite, just to make you feel better. This is our new client. She hasn't had this done before, so she's not quite sure what to expect. So this works the same way as a TENS machine. We just isolate the areas that we want it to move. The advantage of this particular therapy is we can stick the needles exactly where we want, put it deep inside the body and pulse it deep so we can get longer needles and stick it right into the knee joint and pulse right through the knee joint there. It's, it's great. All right, so when you feel it, we don't want it banging away. We just want it to feel like that, okay? So let me know when you can feel it on this area here. Yep, and on this area here now. Yep, yep. not too strong? Mm -hmm. Great. Does it hurt? No, it's just a 
funny sensation. Yeah, and that's cool. I think that there is going to do more than. All right. There you go. So there are many different types of knee treatments that we do. Main thing you need to think about is a holographic image. Do we use the elbow to treat the knee? Especially if a client has a knee that is so tender that you can't touch it, then doing the treatment on the elbow is definitely the smart way to go about that. Um, putting tensing in around the knee joint there, the local points work really well. Acupuncturists don't necessarily like to treat the local area, but I've found especially with knees, this type of tensing therapy in and around the knee will yield excellent results a lot of the time. So thanks again for watching and uh, we'll see you again.